Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Nifty 50 for the 29th of May. And we've been looking at this market in a couple of different ways in terms of being bullish and being bearish. And um, we would certainly be bearish if the 9,000 became the retested resistance. That's always been pretty much the plan. And that's a medium level. Um, and we, we're not seeing that uh, at the moment. We're seeing this little move up through here. Um, it could be just a rally. Um, we're seeing that on the bank nifty as well. But on the bank nifty, the little move up from the low is impulsive. So it does sort of fit this A, B and C pattern through here. But today we'll look at the bullish and the bearish uh, pattern for uh, this market. So just looking at the bearish pattern that we looked at uh, two sessions ago would need to would look like this here. So basically we've got our B wave up here and we'll be looking for a C wave to move down lower through here. And the only way we can look at that is wave. one and two here, then wave one here and two here with an A wave, a B wave and a C wave being here. We're above the 61.8% mark, which is not the end of the world, but um, uh, it's it's something. So to short this market here and to have a trend to bring it down into uh, wave three here, um, then we would need to uh, see it move below and find the um, the 9,200 as the resistance that would confirm that. Um, so from 9,000, which is a medium level, we have uh, 1, 2 and 3, which is all part of group 1. Normally when we find support on top of group 1, well then we'll move up to the next level, which is 5. And from 5 here, we'd be looking at 8 is the next one, but there's also group 2 in there as well, uh, which is 65, 72 and 80, uh, 65 and 72, then 8. Um, so um, yes, the market can drop from here because we can count this up as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 here and then a little ABC back here. So it's possible to have this uh, top in play uh, here for this and see the market work lower. Um, of course, if the 9,500 here becomes the support, then you know that you're on a bullish track to the upside at that point. And in that case, we can start to look at that in this way here, where we've got our A wave up here. Can you see that? Yep, A wave and then A, B, C here for the B wave. And I know this looks all a little bit messy here, but um, it fits. We've got it five waves in this structure we've got five waves in this structure this is corrective and if you pull this apart here you can get five waves out of this as well so then the ABC pattern here for wave one and two and um, it's possible to see you know m the only problem with this is wave four overlaps wave one here um, but I think we can forgive that uh, in terms of being working across a large number here um, it tends to skew the wave count a lot um, so um, yeah this market can continue to build to the upside and um, yeah so uh, like I mentioned uh, here we've got the nine five here so that's critical at that point and we've seen the US fall back off this as well. But I still think the US market's bull bullish. In, I, know, I know it's bullish overall, but I mean in the short term uh, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just putting in group one here, which is 9392 and just basically 123 uh, as such. And... Um, we should have some long positions in here. We talked yesterday about being long here. You've probably already got long positions um, from these highs here. So just moving to, I don't think the hourly can give us much more here. Ah, oh, this is just the bearish count here with wave one here. And then the A and the B and the C wave here for wave two. That B wave can also sit here as well. And this can count. We'll pull this apart now. So um, on the 15 minute chart here, you should have... Um, long trades in here. We talked about having two long trades uh, in, in this little section here, but uh, I'll leave that to you. So it can count here as one and two here, and then three and uh, uh, 
wave four and then moving up for wave five here. So this could be an ABC pattern here. Um, if we don't count this as wave one and if this is all just one sequence here, then we'll look at this as wave one here and two here and three. Three here and four to here and then moving up here for five if that's the case if it moves up from here then you'll see up here you'll see this type of pattern fold here and in a nutshell we want to use the classic trading levels pattern here to to go long on on nine five so if that's nine five there uh the arrival the reaction the first high above the level the corrective move here and then finding support um, on this level and then moving long from that way there can be the variation on this on this level as well which would look a little like this here um, where it sits nice and squarely uh in this space all right so um that's really about it at this stage. So just to recap this here, um, on 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 this on the bullish side of things here, we want to add to the positions on nine five if we become the support. If um, this from this low here to this high here, the market can come back as an A and a B and a C wave here. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Oh, I've got one over here. Yep. Always keep a bit of a mess over here, so it's good. So that can pull back to the 50-60% retracement level here. So in this case here, uh, we can't go short in this market unless this becomes the resistance here. That's the problem. So that needs to become, you need to get this pattern here upside down here. So the market will come down, bounce off that, come through that, can have an A and a B and a C wave back up and then down from there. So, but that low is the, the important bit. You can also, you know, move in lower and through here and, and do things like this and so on to get better positions. But you need that first low below the level at number two because we know when number two becomes the resistance, uh, it, 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 the market, there will then, if that gets retested resistance, then the market's going to be pulled down to the closest, largest number. And in this case, will be that. So, um, Anyway, we'll see how that uh, plays out. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.